As we know, we need proteins. But what if they become killers? Prions can lead to different diseases. It causes scrabies in sheep, BSE in cows, you probably know it as mad cow disease, and CJD in humans. There are more diseases that add to this list. They are classified as TSEs, or proton disease. This is a normal PRP protein. They are found all over the human body, even in healthy individuals. The enzymes in our body can break down this protein. But if it misfolds, it creates an infectious prion, and our body's enzymes cannot break them down. Here we see a normal PRPC protein in yellow, and a misfolded protein in red. The misfolded protein grabs onto a healthy protein, causing it to become misfolded as well. This is how the prion disease spreads so quickly. Here we can see the misfolded protein grabbing onto the healthy one and changing the formation from PRPC to PRPSC. Once there are enough misfolded proteins, they form PRPSC beta sheaths that once formed gather around the brain's neurons, affecting brain activity. There are three ways we can get a prion disease and only about 1 in 1 million people get this disease from any method. The first is acquired, meaning you get it from one of a few ways, eating beef infected with mad cow disease or from a surgery with infected surgical instruments. Next is genetic. Some people have mutations in their DNA of their PRNP gene. This gene codes for PRP protein. This mutation can be passed on. Next is sporadic. This means someone just won the lottery and the reward is a misfolded protein resulting in a prion disease. This is by far the most common form. Other TSEs include fatal familial insomnia, a hereditary prion disease that mainly affects the thalamus. People who have FFI experience worsening insomnia, which can lead to hallucinations, delirium, confusional states, and finally death. Another TSE is Kuru. It affects the body's nervous system. To get infected with Kuru, you need to eat an infected human brain. It is also known as a laughing sickness due to the pathological bursts of uncontrollable random laughter people would display when infected with the disease. Let's be thankful our proteins are not misfolded.